Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. Today's video, I want us to discuss about currency pairs. You have to understand that currency pairs are very, very different when it comes to trading. And I want to give you a hands up of what to always check. Don't be found trading the wrong pairs because when you do trade the wrong pairs, your strategy may be good, but maybe you're trading the wrong pairs. So let's start uh, understanding the currency pairs uh, that are the best to trade. So I have three best currency pairs to trade, and that is Euro, USD, and then I have Audi, USD, and then I have GBP, USD. So you can never go wrong when you're trading. You are a beginner, you can never go wrong. So this should be the Audi, USD, and GBP, USD is because they share the same quote. If you can see that the quote is USD, so we are using the same quote, which is USD, USD is the same quote. So let's say Euro USD is a buy, automatically out USD will be a buy and GBP USD will be a buy. So buying Euro USD, out USD, GBP USD, it is so easy when the setup give um, confirm because they share the same quote. So for me and from my experience of more than four years in trading, I can highly recommend uh, Euro USD, out USD, GBP USD if you're looking for good pairs to trade. So the second, um, the worst pairs to trade, I will say anything with JPY, anything with JPY is not the worst, volatile. So let's say volatile pairs, I want to give you volatile pairs, anything with JPY, JPY pairs are grouped in a category of B, GBP, JPY, Euro, JPY, NZD, JPY, CAD, JPY, uh, we have another one, AUD, JPY, and we have another one, yeah, CHF, JPY. So these ones, they are grouped in the category of volatile. So let's say you're this person with a very small account and you don't, you, you don't uh, mind risking, let's say you have $100 and you want to double that $100 and you don't mind losing the $100, if you try to trade these pairs out USD and Euro USD, you will take more time to double the account. But these are volatile pairs. These pairs are very volatile. They can give you 300 pips for account. But if you're that person who you want to protect your account, let's say you have funded $500 to lose it at any cost, like it's your, your last saving and maybe when it gets lost, you don't know where they're in the category of volatile. So for the GBP USD, these are the best pairs. So I'm just giving you everything about our currency. So these are every detail that I know about currency pairs. So for the best currency, we will take Euro USD. For the volatile pairs, it's JPY pairs. For the worst pairs to trade, these are the worst pairs to trade. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I can emphasize um, worst. Worst pairs to trade. And when I say worst pairs, is from experience. The worst pairs to trade is CAD and CHA. So card pairs and CHF are the worst because they are very biased. So let's say something like USD card, something like Euro CHF, something like anything with CHF, something like NZD card, Audi card, Audi CHF. You just avoid CHF pairs. And also if you're a beginner, trust me, this pairs can, they can make your head spin. Comment down below if you have ever had an experience with card pairs or CHF pairs. These ones can make you, your head spin. USD, CHF, these ones, they are very, they, one, they are volatile, and two, they are trendy. So you can, what happens, the reason why I've come to conclude that the, the card and CHF are the worst pairs is because I have come to realize that they are trendy. They take one side and Stay for a, a long time. So, uh, what does that mean? It means, uh, let me even give you an example with the first one, USD card. If the market uh, uh, starts to buy, so let me tell, let me show you how these pairs they buy. Let me show you how uh, the pairs get the buy. So, so you have to you have to realize that. You'll have to realize that if you are caught on the wrong side, if you are caught on the wrong side of the market, you just have to face it rough. So this is USD card. That's how it buys. 
it is very, very like, it, it trends a lot and it has small candles, so it does not move well. So that is USB card. I want to show you how CHF moves and cards, uh, card pairs move. So this is card CHF. You can see how, this is how the chart looks like. Uh, their chart is always ranging. And this is four hours, guys. Imagine you're trying to trade <laughs> and it has been ranging since August. We are in October. That is card CHF. It keeps ranging. Let me show you Euro CHF. So for me, my last pairs, uh, my last pairs are CHF and card. My last pairs is CHF and card. Can you see? Hey, so this is Euro CHF. So they range a lot. And... They, if they pick a trend, they can trend for a very long time without changing direction. You can see this is NZDCHF. And for NZDCHF, you can see the ranging. And if I take you on, on monthly, and for you just to have a clear picture of what I'm saying, this is NZDCHF. For a whole month, the market has been ranging like this. Since August last year, 2023, the market is on ranging. And I have noticed with C with CHF and Canadian, the market range a lot. I'm doing this video to help you. Don't be caught on these pairs because they will waste a lot of your time. Let's go to Audi card. When we check Audi card on the monthly, you can see how that market looks like. So from, from 2020, the market has been ranging. When we say ranging, this market, they are not trending. Can you see how it is? It's so it's so difficult to trade a market like this. It's so difficult. So the other pairs that you can trade, let me go back. The other pairs that you can trade if you get time, the other time pairs that you can trade if maybe you have a bigger account, these are pairs that have GBP. So for me, I love um, I love GBP USD. More so, you will always wait. For me, I always say GBP USD is the mother. So this is the mother. It's like the mother currency. And then you will wait for GBPUSD to give you direction so that you can know how to trade GBP AUD and GBP card. So the reason why I have brought GBP AUD and GBP card, although card is the last one, one of the worst pairs, if you are trading GBP AUD and GBP card, always look for buy. These two pairs always look for buy because pound will always be stronger than AUD and CAD. I have, I have lost a lot of money trying to sell GBP AUD. I won't lie to you guys. I was finding myself analyzing GBP AUD and finding a sell. And I came to realize sometimes they will fake sell opportunity. And then once you enter and then the market will buy. So if you are finding yourself, you're buying GBP AUD, you are good. If you're finding yourself, you're buying GBP card, you're good. But if you find yourself, you're selling GBP AUD and GBP card, most probably you'll be trapped in the market because pound will always be stronger than AUD. Remember, we buy um, when the base is strong. I, I have taught you this. When the base is strong, we do what? When the base is strong, we buy it. When the quote is strong, we sell. So the quote most probably is never strong for Canadian and AUD when you are combining GBP, AUD, and GBP card. So for me, I even the appears that I say, these ones, if I have a buy opportunity, I will buy. But if I have a sell opportunity, no, I'm not selling. Now, because you have watched this video and you have always supported me, I want to give you a hands up on Euro USD. This is a free signal that I'm giving you if you're watching this. So go and put Euro USD in like a box like this. And we are waiting for this box to be broken above. If this box is broken above, guys, the market is going this distance. So you have not wasted your time to watch uh, this video because I have given you a free setup. So you will be watching it. And if it breaks above, come back to this video and comment below and say, we have a buy on Euro USD. So if it breaks below, ignore it, we won't sell it, but I want it to break above so that you can sell it. And I hope it breaks above. It is almost, how many pips? Let's see, like 60 pips to break above. So if Euro USD breaks above, and let me write here so that you don't say, oh, I didn't hear. So if Euro USD breaks above, 
just to buy that market and it will hit the TP. All the best, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.